When the bell rings, that means that one care cap has been finished. It's 9 a.m. and retired Army Chaplain Ingram Phillips arrives at St. Francis of Assisi Church in Fairfield Bay with a trailer full of sewing machines and fabric. And a day of work begins making these care caps. My sister had cancer and, and I was making uh, caps for her and that I'd make a couple of extra when she'd go to chemotherapy and so uh, they went with her to chemo and were given away and then she went down to MD Anderson and so I made more and some of these lovely ladies uh, said that they would help me uh, to sew and so that's how we, how we got started. Mary says she didn't choose the Care Cap Connection project, it chose her. I've never seen a, any kind of a project that grew as fast as this project has and just multiplied. Mary has organized 13 Care Cap groups including one in Louisiana, two in San Antonio, Texas, one in San Francisco, and in Arkansas at Fairfield Bay, Greenbrier, Mountain Home, Heber Springs, Little Rock Air Force Base, and the Pine Bluff Women's Unit of the Department of Community Corrections. How has she made it work? Her vitality and her kindness and in instruction, instructing people on how to put the caps together and her patience with all of us. And then her, that it just seemed like it was the thing that had to be done, that there was a, a, a higher calling for it. Care caps are distributed free of charge through hospitals, including Arkansas Children's Hospital, St. Jude's, Baptist Health, and Arkansas Department of Health Hospice, as well as MD Anderson, Christus Health, and Ronald McDonald House. One of the volunteers is a cancer patient herself and moved to Fairfield Bay from the Mississippi Gulf Coast after Katrina devastated the area. It was so nice when we came up here and I saw what the people were doing with the care caps. I would have loved to have had some at the beginning because it was really, it was really hard not to be able to, to really go out in public and feel comfortable. Mary and her volunteers have made life more comfortable for about 1,500 patients with thousands more yet to be served. It's an ongoing project. It just, it just grows and grows.